Hi, I'm Stephanie. And I'm Joe with AWS, and today we're going to talk about the recommended PPE. For any welding and cutting processes. Up first, the welding helmet, also known as the hood. There's really two different styles, the fixed shade and the auto darkening. I myself, I prefer a passive lens or a fixed shade. You swap out the lenses as needed for the style or type of welding you're doing. And I like the auto darkening hood. I really like this hood because I'm able to go from grinding to welding at higher amperages with, with MIG welding or lower amperages with TIG welding, all just by adjusting my settings. Safety glasses. Eye protection is super important. Make sure you always wear your safety glasses underneath your helmet while you're welding to keep sparks and foreign debris out of your eyes. Now, let's be honest, safety glasses should always be worn anytime you're in a working shop. When I weld, I do a lot of out of position welding with the shielded metal arc welding process or flux core. So having a welder's beanie is really handy. One, it keeps the sparks out of my hair and most importantly, the bill keeps the sparks out of my ear. So that's why I wear it. For me, I don't do a lot of out of position welding like Joe does, and most of the stuff that I do is TIG welding. But one thing I always make sure I have done is my hair tied back so I'm safe. Ear protection is an essential safety element for any welder, protecting the welder from excessive noise along with hot sparks from entering the ear canal. To protect against a variety of gases, vapors, and particulate hazards, a respirator is recommended while welding. Whenever we weld, we always want to have a good pair of gloves. The gloves are going to protect our hands from the heat, the arc, UV light, sparks, and sharp edges of material when we're handling it. When welding or cutting, your gloves are going to fall into two categories. For MIG welding and stick welding, you're going to have a heavier leather glove. When TIG welding, you're going to have a thinner leather glove. Last but not least, let's talk about flame resistant clothing. This includes a jacket, a shirt, pants, and your footwear. There are many different variations and styles of flame resistant clothing. And what you wear is going to be determined upon the welding application that you're using. Now one thing that's really important to remember is that all of your PPE and flame resistant clothing is free of any tears, holes, or cuffs. Well Joe, it's time to turn and burn. <laughs> <laughs>